Theresa May has done the impossible. She's united left, right, centrists, Labour, her own Tory backbenchers, even Nigel Farage, against her Brexit withdrawal agreement. Some achievement. But it wasn't supposed to be like this, was it? Remember this? Despite being on the Remain side during the referendum, May was explicit, Brexit will happen. Mr Speaker, we are going to leave the European Union in March 2019. Yeah. Yeah. The definition of her version of Brexit wasn't always clear. Brexit means Brexit, and we're going to make a success of it. But May was insistent on her red lines. Not partial membership of the European Union, associate membership of the European Union, or anything that leaves us half in, half out. She was even labelled the Brexit Queen. My question to the Prime Minister is, will she come to Wellingborough, where she will be carried shoulder high through the streets to the echoing of cheering crowd, and I will be able to show her the site where a statue to the Brexit Queen will be erected? So, how did the Prime Minister manage to unite so many people against her Brexit plan? Perhaps this was the plan all along.